Hi, this is Sarah with Artful Videos. Today we are going to learn about four pictorial techniques that characterized early modern Italian art. The so-called four canonical painting modes of the Renaissance. Sfumato, Unione, Chiaroscuro, and Cangiante. Sfumato is a pictorial technique in which colors blend together. Sfumato creates an image that has no lines or edges around the figures, producing a soft, hazy effect. See here a comparison of two artists, Botticelli and Leonardo da Vinci. Botticelli, who does not use Sfumato, carefully outlined the figures. You can clearly see a black outline defining Venus's chin. In contrast, Leonardo, who used Sfumato, creates a naturalistic gradation of shadows in his Mona Lisa. Leonardo was a keen observer of nature and was interested in replicating the way our eyes perceive the world. We do not see outlines around objects or people, and so Leonardo used Sfumato to represent the world as our eyes see it. Unione is very similar to Sfumato. In fact, it was Raphael's response to Leonardo's Sfumato. Unione also attempts to create a slow gradation of color. But, unlike Sfumato, Unione deploys vibrant and more saturated colors. You can see this in this painting by Raphael. Like Leonardo, Raphael does not use outlines, but, unlike Leonardo, Raphael uses bright colors. Chiaroscuro is a technique in which the painter creates a high contrast between light and dark. A painting using chiaroscuro has deep dark shadows and bright highlights next to each other. Chiaroscuro creates a dramatic effect, which sometimes looks like a spotlight is projected on the figure, and which also makes the figures look more rounded and three-dimensional. Chiaroscuro was widely used in the Renaissance and the Baroque. Caravaggio would become renowned for employing an even more dramatic approach to chiaroscuro, called tenebroso or tenebrism. Tenebroso is a type of chiaroscuro that creates a more intensified contrast of light and dark. The fourth Renaissance canonical painting mode is called cangiante. Cangiante is characterized by a change in hue or color in order to depict shadows and highlights. Michelangelo's paintings on the Sistine Chapel ceiling are a great example of this technique. Look at the robe of the prophet Daniel here. You can see that the shaded part of the robe is painted green, but the highlighted part is yellow. Understanding these four canonical painting modes can be of great help when observing and viewing Renaissance paintings. 